The hospice is something very special. Families call it all sorts of their haven, a safe place, fun place, somewhere where they can go, somewhere very, very special, where they've got time to reflect, time to have quality time with their children, to do fun things, um, but with the support that they know that they've got with the competent staff that can actually meet their children's needs. We've asked children for the last three years in various ways, if you were to choose three words to describe the hospice, what would you be? And always the most commonly chosen word is fun. We want every child to make the most of every day that they've got. So it's all of the different enrichment activities that we can offer, lovely opportunities and experiences. The really challenging things for families is that when they understand that their child needs to come to hospice, they're immediately frightened, worried, concerned, and they imagine it might be a very scary place to come to. I think families need to understand that we're going to follow their way of doing things. That's really important. Families say it takes an awful lot of trust to let somebody else look after their very, very precious child. And the only way that you're going to gain that trust is to reassure families that you want to care for them in the same way that the parents do. That's your card and you've got a, you've got a present, haven't you? A huge part of what we do is about talking to families, finding out what they want, what their choices and preferences are, and helping them tailor the way forward. It isn't a case that we do things in our way and we set the course. There is no set pattern. It's actually family-led about what is right for the family um, and to ensure that the family's and the child's needs um, are met as, as best as possible. What, what the hospice does really well is tailor its care to the needs of the families that it's looking after. So they might look after um, parents who have never been home with a new baby, so who might be coming from hospital to here having never been home. Um, they may then go home, of course, or and they might be supporting the uh, young people who have been supported ever since this hospice opened, and they're still being being supported as they as they grow older. And there are young people who transition from paediatric to adult services. If um, a child and family want to use our service, they don't have to wait for a professional to refer them. They can refer themselves. A member of their family can or their doctor or a nurse or a social worker, teacher, anyone can make a referral. When I've talked to, to other professionals, they often, they find that introducing the hospice in that is actually almost the easiest bit because they've, they're sharing difficult news, bad news. They're talking about a diagnosis perhaps of a life shortening illness. But what the hospice brings is, is, a, is a good thing, is, is an opportunity to make that experience just a little bit easier. I think for professionals that might be referring to us, it's really important that they know that we want to work with them in supporting a family. It's not our job to take over the care of a child and a family. We need to work in partnership with other services because that's when the best care can be provided. Before children um, come here, um, obviously um, the staff here um, go out to see the children and obviously have a lot of conversations um, and dialogue with the children's consultants and all the medical professionals that are actually involved with the child to get an absolute picture, a whole picture. So right from the start we contact the child's paediatrician and their GP to find out information about their condition and, and the um, treatments and care that they're already receiving and then we work with them um, throughout the child's use of, of the hospice so that we know we're working in partnership together. For families, the member of staff who's probably most important to them is the contact on the care team who is the member of staff who builds a special relationship with them, a special friendship gets to know them very well, what they're hoping for from our service and how we can best support them, um, and also gets to know the other services that are involved in providing them with support. And part of the role for that contact on the care team is not just to go out and perhaps visit the child at home and keep in touch with the child and their family, but is to go and visit the other services. So when the child's at school, they may go and visit them in school and meet the school um, team that work with them 
if there's a meeting in the community talking about their child's care plan, we can go to those meetings to make sure that we're all working together um, to best support the child and the family. Children with life-limiting conditions have got really wide-ranging needs and we've always said that no one professional could meet all of those needs because they have needs that a doctor might be able to respond to, nurses, physios, social workers, teachers. It's a really wide or broad spectrum of needs and so it's very important at the Children's Hospice to have a multidisciplinary team and we employ um, children's nurses, teachers, social workers, physios, doctors, specialist paediatricians and also general practitioners. There's a, a real range because it's only that way that you can respond to the very different needs that each child has. For a lot of families, um, they're involved with the hospice for, for many years of their children's um, lives. So it is an extension of the, of the family home, of, of the family. The staff are part of their uh, family. I think one of the things that children and families say that they really value about the hospice is that members of the care team get to know their child really, really well. They keep in touch with them between visits so they know what's been happening and if there have been changes or developments. So that means that families aren't having to keep re-explain things or um, try and help make us understand why they're thinking in, in, in the way that they are and children feel comfortable. For the care teams at our hospices, the, some of the most challenging times, but also the most rewarding times, are caring for a child as they reach the end of life and supporting the family. When we meet families in hospital, and we might have known them for a long time, and we talk about where, we talk about end of life care for their child, and we talk about what their choices are in terms of where they might be, um, they might choose hospital, they might choose to be at home or they might choose the hospice. And my experience of working with families is if they have the opportunity to be in the hospice, that is the most popular choice. Our aim is to support the family as best we can to achieve what families will say is a good death. It sounds strange but they say actually um, we didn't want this to happen, but it couldn't have happened in a better way. One of the most important things for families is that their child doesn't suffer, that their child is comfortable. So coming to the hospice where there are children's nurses and doctors who are very expert and experienced in the delivery of symptom management, so seizures are controlled, their, their child isn't in pain, that they're kept comfortable at all times, does mean that those last days can be enjoyed as best they can. And then when the child does die, we have got Starborn, which is the special bedroom, and the family can freely go in and out of the room if they want to go and see their child, say their farewells. Um, they can decorate the room in the way that they would want to with all the sort of photographs and special things that the child treasured that can be al alongside them, which many families find really helpful. Um, and it's not a hasty farewell. They've got time um, to say their goodbyes without feeling hurried, which I think is really, really important. We are about children. Everybody who works here places children right at the heart of what we're doing. Our strap line is making the most of short and precious lives, and that's what we're trying to do. Every day we see the difference that we can make to the lives of children and their families.